teacher now enters into an elaborate metaphor which must have been very very clear in those days because it was very familiar at that time the chariot drawn by the horses even your father and grandfather's time it was easy because there was victoria drawn by a miserable looking horse and in your father's time also there was tanga where there is a horse and a tonga fellow between the two animals we don't know which is dirtier <laughs> never can you see a clean tonga wala never because by evening he is so tired that he thinks that why take a bath now tomorrow will do Early morning gets up. He is fresh in his intellect. Therefore, his judgment is very clear. <laughs> Why take a bath unnecessary? I have to again become dirty. Therefore, that's it extended to <laughs> Diwali to Deepavali. <laughs> <laughs> Today we can't see such people except in the bus stops. There are the chukras there. They are the same. Every day they postpone the bath. Even the pavali they don't because the pavali they don't know which is the pavali. Think, so tanga balas were there, and the tanga balas are. They have got consistent work while driving, because every beating that the horse receives, the horse moves one step. So he has to beat the horse as many steps as there are the distance to be covered. The chariot is not like that. Horses running wild, mighty horses, powerful horses. At that, from that, it's been taken the example. Atmanam rethinam vidhi. My dear boy, you consider that what. Atmanam, you yourself, the ego, you the individual experiencer is Rathinam, the master of the Rathan. You are the one who has hired the taxi. And you must have gotten into the back seat and sat down. <coughs> Master, <laughs> you, are, you are sitting down. You are the master, mind you. Atmanam, you yourself consider. Rethinam vidhi, the master of the chariot. Shiriram rethame vatu. Zamji, if I am tra traveling in the rather, which is the rather? Where is the chariot? Your body is the chariot. You. The master, the one who has hired the taxi. Buddhim to saradhim vidhi. And in this ratha, where is the driver? In a chariot, the driver sits generally on the top. And we live at the level of the bottom of the horse. The charioteer is I mean, happier. He sits, he knows, and therefore he sits higher. Thus, buddhi is the charioteer. Your intellect is the driver, the taxi driver. Buddhi, mana pragrahavan. Mana pragraha, pragrahavan, pragraha me vacha. Pragraha, the reins. The horses have got reins by which we guide the horses and therefore the guide. The horse stays on the road and safely you drive. The driver drives the horses with the help of the reins. Mind is the reins. So slowly the picture is coming out. The artist is standing in front of the canvas and slowly painting. So the chariot is your head. Ashi body. 
and the master in the taxi is you yourself i and the driver is intellect and the steering rod is mind modernize it then it is a steering rod a old horse pragravat right now one more a little more the painter comes back looks at the picture and then takes the brush and rushes forward to give one or two more strokes indriyani hayana hu indriyani the sense organs the five sense organs higher horses ahu are called the sense organs are called the horses that pulls the chariot the body in the chariot is you the master and your buddhi is the chariot yar and the chariot yar controls the horses by the reins but what are the horses indriyani hayana hu so how many horses Allah, <laughs> now we don't blame you because five horses. When you say you are right, five Indians, five horses. But five horses you cannot yoke to one chariot. Four we can. The five fifth will be in front of the four, confusing all the four and the driver. <laughs> no. There's only four horses, though five sense organs. The tongue and the skin are one. You, God created you and put you in this plastic bag called the skin, so that there may be sanitary purity in the world. Yeah. Supposing you have no skin, how vulgar would be life? With the skin, it is terrible. <laughs> Having done that, he pushed his finger inside through the mouth to the other end and stitched it. <laughs> <laughs> and the skin gone inside is called the inner skin, the stomach, and other things, the tongue, and all that. It is outer skin itself. That is why we say that don't take too many chillies. A chillie is what does it matter? Once you go in round, nobody knows. But it is painful for the skin there because when you have played with the chillies, your hand burns. You have to put some oil or something. After making the, your pickles for two days, the hand will burn. Why the skin came in contact with that terrible, monstrous thing called red chilies? After cutting the red chilies, <laughs> eyes were burning. <laughs> the same skin gone inside the eyes. They were more sensitive. The outer skin is not so sensitive because of the weather, weathering of the various climatic conditions. Therefore, it has become a little harder. Even that hard skin burns. Have you seen the smoker's fingers? Red in color. And the finger will have red color. Why? The smoke. The smoke gives that much of red color even for the outer skin. How much would be the coloring inside? Hmm? Hey, they became red. I mean, uh, yes, that color is not because he never washes the hands. That is why it is. No, he takes a normal bath. Four or five times he washes the hands, and then the smoke slowly, slowly decolorizes the skin. Huh, never mind. The outer epithelium, when it is pushed into 
is the inner tibia. And therefore the tongue that knows the taste, no doubt, the outer skin are both considered to be the both touch, the sense of touch. And therefore thus five sense organs are reduced to four with very many shastras. And it is the four houses. So when this picture is representing Krishna and Arjuna riding on the chariot, <clears throat> Gorapur will show five horses, Swami Chinmananda will show four horses. And he has to reply to everybody who is asking, why four only? One collapsed and root. <laughs> This is 6,000 years before Christ, you see, it was running, one collapsed. <laughs> it is four. Mm. Indriyani hayana huhu. The sense organs are the horses, as it were, in our metaphor. Vishayan teshu gocharan. Gochara, gochar bhumi. Hindi mein nahi karte hain. O village mein, ye to gochar bhumi hai. There you cannot build anything except Congress House. <laughs> that can be built, but not anything else. Gochar Bhumi is a common land kept for the cattle to graze. For the sense organs, the horses to chara, to move, the road upon which the horses are going, are Vishayan, the sense stimuli, the eyes trot in form and color, the ears trot sound, nose trot smell. Each sense organ trots in its own sense object. So the sense objects is the road on, upon which the four horses are running, carrying the, dragging the chariot, the body, and in that body is you sitting down as the driver, as a master, and the driver is the intellect. Got it. Hi. So many unnecessary details, but you got it. Atmendriya mano yuktam bhokte tya hormani. Atma, indriya, indriya, buddhi, indriya, mana. Buddhi, indriya, mana. Buddhi, intellect. Indriya, sense organs, the body. And my BM. I BM. No, here it is the. <laughs> Atma, Indriya, Mana, Yukta. So, IBM, all put together, is called Bhokta, the experiencer, the enjoyer, you, the individuality, who is suffering your sorrows and enjoying your joys. <laughs> Whenever you say I, means what? The sense organs of mind, the intellect, the consciousness conditioned by it. Atmendriya mano yuktam bhokte tya hormani among mankind. That entity is called bhokta, the enjoyer, the experiencer. 